everyone, it's me Nikki here with a tutorial on how I make my wine glass wraps. Earlier this week I did a video on how I organize my table jewelry, which is my napkin rings and tables, uh, place cards and things like that. And I asked in that video if anyone was interested in me doing a tutorial on how I make my wine glass wraps. I got a great response and so I'm so very happy to be able to do this tutorial. And I love these wine glass wraps because they kind of make a little sparkle or give a little different look to your wine glasses especially during the holidays and we're coming up on thanksgiving and we're working on those, those thanksgiving tablescapes and so you definitely uh, want to do something to jazz it up and you know it's not for just you know wine glasses for drinking wine you know i'm in the south we drink sweet tea during uh thanksgiving so how what a wonderful way to jazz up your sweet iced tea you know tea already has those fall colors but then to add these wine glass wraps on them really would jazz them up along with the desserts how beautiful would this be to make a trifle some type of caramel trifle and have your desserts served in these wine glasses with these wraps on them lined up on a beautiful tray would be absolutely gorgeous so this is a very simple simple diy you do not have to be a crafter it's just so simple to do so i'm going to take you through show you how to do it along with show both my u.s and international friends out there some resources to get the supplies you need so let's get started Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is measure how much wire we need. And how we do that is we take our wine glass and we measure from the bottom base of the glass to the top of the stem. And it doesn't have to be exact. And so I'm gonna say about four inches. And so once you get that number, and I see about four inches here, you're going to cut your wire double the amount. So since I have four inches, I'm going to cut my wire eight inches long. And so this is gonna give you enough um, you know enough wire so that once you beat it and you you have it to wrap around your glass and so then you can simply use your um, round nose pliers to actually cut the wire and so it's very simple so let's do that I do want to say that you can get your wire in gold and silver and copper and all kinds of different colors to match your beads. And so what we're going to do after we cut our wire is we're going to take our round nose pliers and we're going to kind of hold on and grasp the very end of one side of our wire. And once you have it tight, you're then going to just twist that wire around one side of your pliers. And you're just going to keep twisting for about I would say three to four loops and what this is doing is this is kind of closing off one side of our wire so that we can put our beads on and they won't fall off along with it gives a not gives a nice cute look to the end of your wine wrap and so once you have I would say two to you know I wouldn't do more than three I think three is about the limit you don't want to have too much wire on that end you're ready to bead and I like to put one of my smaller like four millimeters in size maybe on um, beads on the end and when you do your beads find beads that you love you know I love a little glitz so I try to find kind of like um, crystal or you can get Swarovski crystals or you know pearls if you want to do all pearls you know this is where your creativity comes in and you choose the beads that you love you put them in the order on here that you like whatever design you like you know if you um, want to follow the design that I'm doing here feel free to do that or come up with your own you know some like a more of a rustic look and may want wood beads for a more casual look it's so many ways that you can do this in so many different styles and so you have to do what you love and so as you see I'm just beading on here and I'm going to continue to do that and also while I'm doing that you can go to my website at homewithnikki.com and I created a template a shopping template for both my U.S. and international um, friends out there on where to get 
the supplies you need for this at an affordable place. Also with a bead sizing guide in case you want to order online to know what size beads to get and that kind of thing. So if you go to the printable page on my website under printables, you'll see that kind of PDF you can print out and take shopping with you. So I hope you will find that helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And so when we get to the end of our other wire, we want to leave about a half an inch and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side and we're going to kind of grab that in and twist it around or around nose pliers and you just keep twisting this time until you touch that last bead right there so you want to twist it um till it's nice and tight not too tight where your beads won't move too much. And then you're ready to wrap it around your glass and you're good to go. This is so simple. Again, you don't have to be a crafter to do it. You can do this in front of the TV, a nice relaxing DIY for Thanksgiving. And it's so, so cute. So I just love this. And you can do them for all kinds of holidays. You can do them for Christmas, Easter, you know, in the colors you want because beads come in so many different colors and styles and variations. So I think it's just a fun, quick DIY why and if you're like me you don't like those long projects that take a long time these are just great because they're quick and easy and you get great reward really quick so those are my favorite kind of DIYs now what I want to do right now is I want to share with you both my um, US and international friends out there some resources that you can use to kind of get your beads affordably along with your tools those um, round nose pliers along with your wire now let's start with my US friends dollarbead.com is a really get great red excuse me website <laughs> it's a really great website for affordable beads from 25 cents a strand not a bead a strand to about 50 cents to a dollar everything is kind of like a dollar unless they're very inexpensive I've ordered several times from them before. They're very affordable. Shipping is great. Um, customer service is fine. I've never had a problem with them. And, you know, I've just been happy with the customer service and very affordable. So this can be an extremely affordable project. So this is a great resource for my U.S. friends out there. Now, for my U.K. friends, BeadsDirect.co.uk, when I lived in the U.K., I ordered from them all of the time. I absolutely love this website and I miss ordering from them now that I live in the US. But they have very affordable beads. Customer service was always great. I never had a problem. Um, the shipping rates were fine and I love the pricing. You know, the quality of the beads you got for the pricing was great and they had a good selection and they ran a lot of sales a lot of time, which I thought was great. I love looking at their sales section and things like that. So for my UK friends, this is a great option for you. And of course, I can't forget my Australia friends, even though I have not lived in Australia or visited Australia. I researched online and beadsonline.com.au is an Austra Australian um, bead store online where you can get your beads. I've never ordered from, from them, like I said, so I don't know how customer service is and things like that. But this was kind of one of the more affordable places that I could locate online for my Australian friends. You may know of some better um, places, but I was just trying to find somewhere for you to kind of get the tools you needed and the beads at an affordable price and for everyone no matter where you live in the world firemountaingym.com is the place to go they have such an awesome selection every bead you can think of every size every style tools wire everything can be found at this website they do ship internationally i'm not sure about the cost for international shipping but they are very popular um, in the u.s and it's a u.s based company but they do ship internationally so this would be great for absolutely everyone and of course, for my U.S. friends, you can always walk into these stores. Michael's Arts and Crafts has a great selection of beads. They often have sales on their beads, and you can get the wire and the tools. They are very inexpensive, along with Joann Fabrics. And you can order from Joann's online also. And AC Moore. AC Moore, you can walk in, great bead selection and tools. And they actually are going to start their online store in 2014. And so I hope you found those resources helpful. Go to my website, athomewithnikki.com, on the printables page to get your PDF so that you can see the outline of where you can get everything. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It was so much fun sharing it with you. I hope you all have a beautiful day and this is Nikki saying goodbye. <laughs>